and Passport Transportation just showed up with their 18-wheeler rig to haul the Rust Gang off to New Jersey. Uh, huh? I don't like hooking to that sway bar because... You don't it, want it? Well, because my rope is going to come up and hit the bottom... Oh, is it? ...red panel. Oh, yeah. the lower the land? Yeah. Oh, well, you want to push it up there a little more? Or? All right, the rust gang's finally leaving today, and uh, we actually got us a professional rig, as you can see, to haul the car out of here. And um, that's about all we got to say about it. Uh, it's a done deal. Almost 10 years in the making of doing this job. It's done. There's nothing else I could do to it. It's all up to the owner. So um, come on over here. This guy knows what he's doing now. What he's saying is he's going to hook it up to the rear axle of the vehicle. He's afraid that he's going to dent the lower of the lance on the uh, car itself in the front. You need me to help you? Or? Yeah, I'll help you. Okay, so bring it over. So the way that he loads him, he actually hooks to the rear axle of the vehicle. You uh, can be the brake. The last guy that we had here was Russian, didn't speak any English. Hey, Jackie. Uh, he dented the hood on the vehicle. I ended up having to fix the hood for free. Uh, anybody that watched that video section where uh, I was called a bald faced liar, uh, well, then you'll know what went on. So, Sean? Um, it looks, you dropped your phone, buddy. Uh oh. So it looks like uh, we're in gear and going to head down the road with the Rust Gang. As An awesomely uh, fantastic day. Okay, I'll be right back. Uh oh. Go get a phone, and take some pictures. All right, go get a picture taker. Yeah, yeah. It's a good day at SWRNC, people. It's finally leaving. Yes, what a great day. We love it. We definitely love that it's a big giant truck. It's going to be towed inside. I don't have to have worry about rock chips. How much is it worth? Whatever somebody's willing to pay for it, David. Yeah, it did come out great, Jerry. We really are happy with it, considering we replaced uh, pretty much every piece of the car. <laughs> And of course, the weather's beautiful. Go ahead and get your pictures, buddy. You gotta get some too. And there's Pete's back. Hey, Steve in Australia. What's happening? First time I've been to Moab, I gotta come back and make peace. Come on back, I'll take you to some abandoned mine. Okay, so this guy here, he seems professional, like I said. Um, the rig is professional. The last person we had here had a trailer that would look like it was from the 70s. It had a wooden floor in it that yeah, was, it was rotted just... and busted through. You can actually see holes in it. I asked him, do you have a winch? And he says, yes, I have a winch. And he comes out with a come along with a six foot cable. He had a six foot well, cable. Well, you know, you, you tell people that too when people ask you if you have a winch. No, I don't. Yes, you do, because that. that's what we have. Well, <laughs> Come along. But yeah, when you're a professional you going cross country, you should definitely have, you know, a rig that is going to protect the car at least. So um, we're going to watch him uh, 
many of the body shop girls are going to watch as we load the Frankenstein out of my shop and on my property. You want me to dust it off for you? It's okay. We'll just look and make sure there's no... Check it all out, buddy. Do what you got. No we don't want, yeah, yeah. We don't want the same action as the other guy. <laughs> this is kind of a cover my butt deal. Yeah. There you go. Absolutely. Hey, Rich. Oh crap. Okay. All right, so he's telling me I got to take the antenna off. Because so, it's going to hit, it won't clear. Well, we might be able to put it down in there and I'll put a piece of tape on it. Okay. That'll hold it so it'll stay on the fender. Okay. Because that way he can pull it back in and tighten it yeah, up. Whichever, whatever okay. you think would be easy. All right. No problem. All right, yeah. All right. Well, we got to kind of loosen up the antenna just to give us some more clearance because he's got more cars to pick up and unload and load and so yeah making room for the next I didn't get to read all that hey Cleveland I almost had to go through Ohio if I was going to have to deliver this uh car and thank god i didn't have to because i sure didn't want to Yes, many years and many hours and lots and lots of cussing. Oh, it's a 390, Frank says. The owner is in the house. <laughs> yes. Hey, Frank, I just want to tell you, thank you so much for that picture frame. It's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, don't let it drop down in there. <laughs> oh my God, does not do that. Frank is not going to want to have to take the fender off of the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, did you hear that, Frank? They want to know when you're going to finish the car. We want to see the test drive. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. <laughs> this holds the record for the most cussing ever. Oh, heck yeah, man. <laughs> take the tape off. Do not drop 
the uh, and holds. Have somebody hold that that won't drop it. Because if put this in Frank's electrical box. In the electrical box, Frank. And uh, don't drop that in there. Or you'll have to take the fender off to get it out. You, there's no way to reach Look, in there and get it. Since, uh, since the owner, Frank, everybody give Frank a big hand that he put up with my friend Pete's shit for 10 years. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a big job right there in itself, putting up with my friend Pete for 10 years. I uh, know, try 25. Look, while Frank's online, I'm going to go ahead and show him. This is your locks. And there's your VIN plate, and there's your little... And then okay. I'm going to put this in here with the locks. All so right. You got everything to go, buddy. There you go. Little white box in the big white box. So what we got here, we got a live video going while I'm filming for a video. Buddy. All right. You think that'll work right there? Okay, that was pretty easy fix. Thank goodness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. All right, there it goes. It's moving. Woohoo! Oh my God! So exciting! That is awesome. He is. He's got it hooked on the rear axle and he's pulling it up. Pulling it up. And uh, there it goes. The rust dang is leaving. It's a sad day of my friend Pete. <laughs> Miss the rest it I would have been know. more than 10 bottles of blood, high blood pressure pills for Pete. <laughs> but don't forget to tell him I just went to the doctors and my blood pressure's... Yeah, he doesn't have high blood pressure, actually. I know, believe it or not. That's because he lets all his stress out. There's a Russian hidden in the trailer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I was so glad to see an 18-wheeler. Let me tell you. I was really glad. History in the making, that's right. Today is a historic day. Yeah. Look at that, lots of room on both sides. You don't have to worry about anything banging around on it. And notice above, up here, that's a plastic sheeting to keep anything, if there's a car, from dripping down and ruining. That's right, we like big insurance policies. That's right. Anyway, there goes the Rustang. Yeah, it is a nice trailer. Yeah. There goes the Rustang. It's a done deal. And, you know, we had a long, long run with this car. I'm going to be honest mm -hmm. with you. The longest of all of them. And I've been around for 25 years. And, uh, but we really enjoyed having the Rustang here. When we first met Frank, we met him through. I don't know how we met him. Uh, we met Leo through Frank. Yeah. Leo, the truck driver. Matter of fact, I think Frank said, boy, I sure wish Leo would bring my truck car to me. I know. And the Russian screwed it up. He didn't, he doesn't but, come uh, out here though anymore. But as you can see, the car's in good hands. How much did it cost? Did someone ask that? I don't no, know. No, nobody cost. asked that. It's nobody's um, business. I can tell you from experience. And when you see this video with Mr. Russia, you're going to agree with me. You get what you pay for, no matter what the fuck's going on. That's absolutely true. But, uh... Yeah, the car came out awesome, and um, I hope Frank. Oh gets my gosh, I'm so glad! I can't believe it. It is, it's, it's almost gone. Just to let you know, come on over here. It is almost gone. He's tying it all down. You can see these people are professionals. Oh yeah, let's give them some kudos there. Say no to cheap freight. <laughs> that's a high end Jaguar. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I believe that's Is that a Jaguar up there, buddy? Is that a Jaguar up here? An SL Mercedes? Oh, it's 57 Mercedes. Les would love that car. Oh.
Gosh. That's, 1957, uh, That's been completely second. restored from. Oh, yeah. And I don't want to touch that. Um, yeah, don't put your fingers But we got some on. very classic action going on over oh, here. Oh, heck look yeah. These. And then look at uh, that one, another one. Yeah. These look oh, like yeah. they're out of a museum or something. Wow. Possibly, but and then look. we got a brand new yeah. car. We got a brand new high end something. I bet that's that's another Mercedes. That's probably two or three hundred thousand. Come on back up over here. That's probably like a three or four hundred thousand dollar Mercedes up there. So, what's that? Two hundred fifty thousand. And that one up there is in excess of a million. Yep. A million car up here, guys. Up on top. Let's go ahead and look at that tail light. You're looking at a million. You're looking at a million dollar tail light right there. That's a million dollars. This is a two hundred fifty thousand. So we love Mercedes. I think right. This Mustang that we just loaded is possibly, uh, if you compare it to a brand new Dodge truck, a Yugo. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, we're gonna miss the Mustang. We're definitely gonna miss. It. Come on back. Oh my here. goodness! I can't believe this day is even happening. Uh, to date, um, on the Rustang, we got 46 videos online of the Rustang if you want to watch those. All right, um, have you uploaded all of them except for no, this? We no. We got like 47 or 50 more to go. Oh my goodness. If we actually went through the whole process. Uh, you got to understand, my friend Pete uh, does a lot of videotaping. I got enough video footage. It's probably the last me 15 years, and I don't have to film anything else. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. What was your name, buddy? Andy. Okay, Andy, shake your hand and make a friend. There you go. All right, my name is Pete. Pete. He's checking me out on right there at Southwest Ride and Custom. All right. DIY Auto School, SWRC. We appreciate your hard work. You got to tighten down. I got two in the front. I got two back here. Oh, wow. Back here and I'll be good to go. All awesome. Right. Yeah, so just the other, you guys will, I mean, you're not posting the video of the other cars. That'd be. No. Thing I, ask. I don't okay. mind the loading and stuff. Okay, no problem, bud. We'll I cut that off. We we'll cut out. We'll edit that out, buddy. No problem. Appreciate it. All right, that's that's nice of you being professional, unlike Mr. Russia guy. <laughs> so I guess this is the back door too, huh, Andy? I'm sorry. This is the back door, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's heavy. So how long have you been uh, hauling? Uh, not real long, but long enough. You like it? I do like it. I've been, Well, come back to Moab and I'll take you to some uh, pretty adventurous places you'll never forget. All right. Okay. All right, so come on over here. Let's go ahead and look in here. Well, Andy's finishing up. And uh, the season's getting ready to start for me and Minnie to start going mine hunting. Oh, and don't go man. in there, you'll lose connection. So we got Minnie's bike in the back, and then we got my bike in the front. And I told Minnie, I said, if we don't use our razor this year, if we don't use it more than five times, I'm selling it. I'm not, I'm not fucking with it no more. I'm sick and tired of the bullshit. So it looks like Andy's I've got been his... good, Marie. Huh? I've been real good. What? Nothing. I was oh. talking to somebody else. Okay, so we want to do a shout out for a very special person that just loves Minnie. Um, and her name is Sue. Hey, Sue. Her name and is Gary. Sue. We love Gary, Gary too. And they're in California. We want to do a special, special, uh, uh um shout, shout out, out <laughs> for sue in particular um i believe didn't you say sue had parkinson's i think she believes i believe she does i'm not sure but we all need to say a prayer for sue out in california uh and you know let her know that everybody out here loves sue sue the telephone caller that calls many the body shop girl and loves many so I hope you like that little shout out, Sue, and God bless you and your husband, Gary, very much. Okay, it looks like Andy's almost done, so. I'm telling you, it's a grand day. It's a grand day. Okay. We're 20 right. minutes in almost. Okay, we're gonna say goodbye to Minnie, the body shop girl. Are you happy? It looks you like you're- me away? Yeah, we're, we're, we're uh, closing her down. It's done. Okay. It's a short video. Um, and we got Har Harley, Heather uh, wants to wish, okay, I can't read those. We might as well just stay on while we're- He can't see that. 
You ought to see the font on his text messages. It's the biggest you can get. There's like one word on each line. He has 2020 visions. Yeah, that's why he has the font on the biggest it'll go. So you got to unload all these when you load them up, Andy, to get those other ones out? He can't hear worth a shit either. Oh. Yeah, wow. Okay, so how this works, I'm going to tell you now. He said he's got the two on the top. He has to deliver somewhere else. And what this does, if you look at my hand, this ramp or this door literally goes up this track and lines up with that. And then they pull that car out or pull it out onto this and then they lower it down. Oh, I've seen that. Remember when we did uh, Maxwell the Bug? Uh huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty darn awesome. So. Um, I will say that having your car hauled this way versus Russian guy from yeah. Oregon well, I mean, is going to cost you a lot more money. That Russian guy from Oregon, I, I mean, I could have pulled it up there with on our flatbed. I mean, yeah. it was a flatbed. It wasn't an enclosed trailer. I couldn't even believe he showed up but without an enclosed trailer. you were going to drive trailer. it up there, remember? I know, but our that insurance... That was last chance uh, S, yeah, uh, but exhibition our, there. Yeah, our gonna... insurance said uh, no. So we were going to take it up there. We were actually going to take the car south of New Jersey. Oh, yeah? On my trailer. Three days driving yeah. up there without an enclosed trailer. Yeah, I didn't want to do trip. that. Do you know how many rock chips it'd probably get on it? And then at night when I'm sleeping, worrying about somebody messing it up? Shh, no way. Too stressful. You want a breakfast party? Oh, you got it. One more click. All I want. And there you awesome. go. Awesome. Did you is see that? Ready, it's clicked down and that it's baby is ready. ready. It's a done deal. Andy did us a square deal. He didn't do us a round. And uh, everybody knows what a round is over here. <laughs> That's what Mr. Russia guy did to us. Uh, oh, looky here. It wasn't oh, much look, different look. in price. Did you see that ramp come down? I wasn't looking, but I had the yeah. camera pointed that way. So yeah. probably. A bit. Oh, wow. Look at that. Now, does that lock it? Oh, I see you got a it's lock. Got a so it's got a stop on it. Yeah, I got it. So. Come down. Yeah. And, wow. Uh, that should be giving me. I got a 1991 vest to put in here. Oh, wow. And those two Mercedes go to two different towns in Kansas. Kansas. There you go. Kansas first, huh? And then, I, yeah, and then I've got to stop by. I live in southwest Missouri. That's stop by I'm there and kiss mama back on the road. Go. Yeah. And then I got to go. And then I got to pick up a 1901 Packard from my wow. boss, my owner. Oh, wow. A 1901 Packard. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I've actually been in the Packard plant. Yeah. Out in uh, uh, Detroit, Michigan. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The abandoned Packard plant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That'd be cool. I went in there, traveled around in there. It was pretty crazy. Uh, so everybody gets to. All right, so watch out. He's going to start loading that thing watching, up. watching, everybody gets to see your car uh, when they go to unload the other one. So there yeah, you go. And he will get to see the model. The Model A's. Oh, and then Frank gets and to see the Model A's. And as well as Now, are those going to a uh, museum or what? They're going to an auction, Bonham's auction in uh, Rhode Island. Ah. Same place the uh, Packard's going to go. Uh, not a lot of people want them old Model A's anymore. You know, the, the prices. People, the people really that were interested in them are dead and gone, buddy. The, pr the prices really tanked on them. I mean, yep. That's you know, they wants. were hoping 15 to 30 on those, but. 15,000 to 30 for those things? I'd say the black one's worth 8 to 10, maybe. Wow. I'd say... That convertible, huh? Yeah. There's a four-cylinder flathead, probably. Yeah, well, yeah, it's a little... See, and then the other one, the little Roadster, it's it's nice. It's got the rumble seat and everything. Yeah, yeah. It might bring, it might bring 20, 15, 20. Yeah, it those depends things, on if you get two people that want it. 20 years ago, those things were 50 to 75. Oh, all day long. Yeah. Very jagged. Not anymore. My mom wants one really bad because they come down. You can always buy her one, see? I want to get her one. Yeah. Get her one, buddy. She can I take it to the up. grocery store. I picked those up at a vineyard in Napa, California. Wow. So hopefully he'll uh, get his money out of them for you. Well, the old uh, Mercedes Benz is the owner. Uh, Mercedes Benz Company. Yeah. Uh, Mercedes Benz Company. Yeah. 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 That's how it's well, they out. better get rid of them now because the price is just going to keep going down. They're not going to go back yeah. up. Wow, look at that. Well, Frank, your car's loaded and ready to go home. So, it's going to it's going to see you soon. See. It's gone. It's it's a sad deal, people over here at my friend Pete's, and not as sad as my little dog dying. I got to say that my little dog Axel passed away last week. 
and I think about him every day. It's very, very sad and lonely here. Um, it's so sad and lonely. Me and Manny don't argue and cuss and holler at each other anymore. So that can tell you how sad and lonely it really is. Wow, did you see that? That was pretty cool. Look at there. Did you see that? Locked right in place. I'm telling you. Awesome. Area. We don't have to worry about any kind of damage or anything in this big thing. And I forgot to get a picture of it inside the truck. That's all right, Frank. You got the video to look at. You can, you can uh, step inside that door up here. Oh, can I? All right, let me get a picture of that. Let me get a picture of that as we go down the road here. I can open this second door. Oh, uh, that's all right. I think we I can well, open I guess if you can, that's the One more look. At One Frank's last car. look. There it is. It's a. It's gone. Frank's car is leaving. There you go. Okay. Bye, little right, car. Patrick's got to get down. Your Patrick's eating. Andy's got to Andy. get down the road. <laughs> got to go. Okay. All See right. All later. Take it easy, guys. Thank Turn. you very much, Andy. You want to say goodbye to the YouTube world? Goodbye. Thank you. Let me get a signature from you. All right. That really loaded up quick. The other guy was here for almost an hour and a half and just jerking off. I mean, you should have seen it. It was a real nightmare. The Step over here, please. Right here. The final paperwork on the 1968 Rustang car. Rush. Wow. It's unbelievable. I just, I don't believe it. Oh, I know. <laughs> That's crazy. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, I'm so Andy. Glad. You got the car loaded and it's ready to roll. Here's your copy of that, sir. Okay. Where are you headed to tonight? I'm going to go up to uh, probably past Grand Junction. What's the other town up there? Uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, Montrose. No, Grand Junction, uh, Glenwood Springs. Yeah, I think Glenwood. Yeah. Beautiful up there. Go somewhere in there. A couple of uh, truck, truck stops. So. Okay. I gotta well, go by Denver and pick one up tomorrow. So. Okay. But be care. safe. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you, Andy, and take care of Frank's car for him, please. Absolutely. All right. All Shake his hand for me, but I've never right. met the guy in person. I've only talked to him on the phone four All times right. in ten years. Please. I don't even know what he looks like. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Okay. We got to go. Minnie's rolling the film. Let's She's go. Roll. Let's go. It's done. Deal. It. She's going. Time to wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap okay, it up. Hang on one second, and then we got to have a little talk. All right, so the car is gone. It's out of here. Happy day. Happy day. Protecting your investment. There you go. Get what you pay for. Come on over here. Let's watch it roll away. Let's watch it roll away like uh, Al, Al, no, not Alice in Wonderland, uh, The Wizard of Oz. Like a tornado. <laughs> Andy is rolling away. And then we'll hang up. I'm sure everybody wants to see the 18 wheeler. Go down the road. Right. So, um, thank God I got a big enough turnaround here where we can uh, get do 18 that. wheelers down here. Yeah, absolutely. We'll that helps out. Okay, nice guy. Real did, nice guy. Did you call him Randy? Andy. Okay, I was about to say his name is Andy. I said Andy. Okay. Okay, uh, there he goes. There goes the brake lights. Look. Yeah, I see it. Here he goes. He oh, oh, oh my God. There he goes. There goes the Mustang. It's he leaving. Okay, he's going to have to back up on that. I bet he's going to have to back up. Well, maybe not. Yeah, he's going to have to back up a little bit. Oh, yeah. He's going to back up over here and then haul ass. So there you go. The Rustang is now off of my friend Pete's property. And Andy did a good job loading that, I would say, wouldn't you? Yeah, it was quick, and uh, quick nobody and got hurt. Fast. Nobody got hurt. It was awesome. Quick and fast. So 
I hope Frank. Okay, he's going to go slow. Look at him. Okay, now I will tell if Frank's watching this, if the owner's watching this. Oh, he doesn't want to jackknife it. There he goes. He's all right. Okay, and that's a 53 footer, too. Look at that. That is long. A million dollar uh, Mercedes. Did you see that? There's a, a lot of uh, expensive cars in there. And there he goes. Several going to some auction in up east. There it goes, there it goes. Very nice professional guy here. All right, Frank, she's coming your way. Very nice professional. Action. Coming your way. Yeah. Home word bound. <laughs> All gone and done. It's a done deal. All right. Okay, people, that's the end of it. You just heard the noise. I just shut the lens on the Rustang for the very, very last time. Um, that'll be the last that filming will, of the Rustang. Well, we're going to be putting that uh, Russian video up, which this will be part of that Well, video. but I'm talking about you're not going to be filming the Mustang anymore. It's a sad deal, guys. Sad. It's a very sad deal. The Rustang is not in my life, Pete's, my friend Pete's life anymore. And uh, it's all in Frank's hands now. And we wish Frank the best. You want to put that away and I'll turn this off? There Thank you. you. All right. Okay. Okay. Many of the body shop girls heading out. My camera, my phone is getting hot. I got to load it up and go down the road. So there you go. The Rustang is gone and it's a done deal. It's all over. Wow. I can't believe it. It's all over. It's all it. over. See y'all later, guys. Thanks a lot. Take it easy and uh, be watching for the rest of them.